I'm Jules Valiente. And I'm Cara Nugent. Thanks for joining us for School News Around the District. Our top story, kicking off the 2014-15 school year. As reporter Claudia Shea shows us, the new school year brings some wonderful new changes. School bus compounds throughout the district are once again shifting into high gear before sunrise. This school year, the district rolled out 110 new GPS-equipped buses. More than 780 buses will transport about 57,000 students every day. Be at bus stop 10 minutes early. Make sure your student knows uh, their time and their bus route number. Also, if you have any questions, call our customer service center. Superintendent Wayne Gent started the new school year amid all of the activity at the district's North Transportation Facility in Riviera Beach. Each school year is you know, a new day, a new beginning, and uh, we're excited uh, for the students that are coming in, and we want them to do their best. Our teachers are, are ready, our teachers are excited, and uh, we're just looking forward to an outstanding year. Shortly after sunrise, students began arriving at local schools. This was a scene at Gove Elementary in Belle Glade. Going that way. How are you? How are you doing? And here you see students arriving at the newly renamed and remodeled Conservatory School in North Palm Beach. This state-of-the-art campus replaces North Palm Beach Elementary. We are the first K-8 school in Palm Beach County. We have an amazing orchestral music program. The students that stay with us in sixth grade are actually all in orchestra, so all of them are musicians. <laughs> In fact, music filled the atrium as students arrived. Superintendent Gent also joined in on the fun. The conservatory school boasts instrumental music suites, numerous performing arts studios, modern classrooms, hydroponic gardens, and much more. Centennial, could I have your attention, please? Back to school excitement also ran high at Hope Centennial Elementary School. This campus offers a Spanish dual language program and an extended school day, which affords students extra time to focus on reading strategies. I get the same teacher. You got the same teacher? How do you know that? Because Yeah, how's that apple? <laughs> About 181,000 students attend the district's public schools, and for them and district employees, the new school year is off to an exciting start. Claudia Shea reporting for the Education Network, keeping you informed. Even before the first bell rang, volunteers were working over the summer making sure that students returned to spruced up campuses. A powerful transformation took root at Northmore Elementary School during Florida Power and Light's Intern Power to Care Day. About 80 interns and 20 FPNL employees planted, painted, and prepared the campus alongside members of Northmore's staff and school district maintenance workers. So we wanted to kind of set the atmosphere for the kids so we'd come back to a nice, fresh new campus. So all of the volunteers are here. They're painting um, the picnic tables. They're in the classroom, um, painting the hallways, setting up the classroom, setting up their books so that all of the students can just come back and be ready to learn. And students are now learning amid a lush, freshly landscaped campus ripe with hundreds of new plants and bushes and freshly painted murals, which display the mascot, the panther. Now to Western Pines Community Middle School in the acreage, which was also beautified thanks to a team of volunteers. Home Depot and several local nurseries donated shrubbery, landscaping materials, and their time to help spruce up the school's entrance. You know, Western Pines Community Middle School, there's a reason that community is in the name. Um, it is a great community. In addition to beautifying the school's entrance, area nurseries also donated services and supplies to create this lovely memorial garden established as a tribute to former principal Peggy Campbell. The memorial garden is located in the center of the school's courtyard. Lots of people are opening up their hearts and their wallets in support of ALS research. I did it myself. I still haven't been challenged yet. But the ALS Ice Bucket Challenge is sweeping the nation. And we're proud to say that Superintendent Wayne Gent took that challenge. And he's encouraging his staff to do the same. Take a look. We appreciate you coming out. Make sure it's a do nice donation for ALS and the Ed Foundation of uh, Palm Beach County. Correct? That's correct. All right, you ready, Mr. Burke? I'm ready. All right, yes. let's do this. Three, two, one! <laughs> I'm 
College of High School principals. High school principals, you have been challenged. And Connor, you need to get on the challenge. Sure, definitely will. We're going to take a short commercial break. But when we come back, you'll hear more from Rick Blackwell about what's going on in good sports. Stay with us. Did you know that the School District of Palm Beach County offers more than 250 choice programs and academies at our elementary, middle, and high schools? Preparing students for careers in medicine, aeronautics, business, STEM, the performing arts, and dozens of other fields. Did you know our students have greater access to advanced placement and dual enrollment college level classes, potentially saving parents thousands of dollars in college costs? Did you know the district only hires highly qualified teachers and provides them with ongoing professional development training? Did you know that our graduates go to the best colleges and universities in the state and the nation? Did you know our schools offer a full range of sports programs? many of which are nationally recognized. Did you know our International Baccalaureate program begins at elementary school and takes our students all the way through high school? Did you know that the Palm Beach County School District is your best choice for education? Now you know. The School District of Palm Beach County, your best choice. We are the Education Network. We are your source for live coverage. Bringing you news impacting your students, your schools, and your community. We are covering the district, on campuses, in the classroom, throughout the community. We are on air, online, on mobile. The Education Network, your best choice for school district news. That's who we are. Welcome back to school news around the district. Now, let's check in with Rick Blackwell to see what he's working on in good sports. Hi, Connor and Jalissa. I'm Rick Blackwell, the host of Good Sports, which is coming up right after school news around the district here on the Education Network. You know, every week we look at the best in Palm Beach County School District sports and arts. This week we've got a great show for you. I went to the Spanish River High School cross country practice. Yes, it was hot, but the boys and girls are tough. No pain, no gain, right? We're going to meet the new head running coach for the Sharks, who's replacing a legend. The coach before him, Rick Rothman, He'd been there for 31 years. We're also going to meet three of the top boys and three of the top girl runners. Great kids expecting a big year for Spanish River. Let's listen to a preview of what they had to say. Yeah, it's definitely a team sport. Like it gets kind of individual, like like in practice sometimes. But like we definitely all want to like keep together as a team and like support one another. <laughs> so Sydney's going to try to beat you to the race at the finish line sometimes, yeah, yeah, but other yeah. times you are a team. And then it's the last week of preseason football for our Palm Beach County School District football teams. I'm going to jump in my Education Network van and travel to three stadiums. Is there a better way to spend a Friday night? Here's just some of the excitement I covered involving the players, coaches, and cheerleaders from Suncoast, Forest Hill, Lake Worth, and Glade Central. Suncoast and Green on offense, and quarterback Matt Dame runs it in for the Charger score. Now, this game doesn't count in the final standings. This is preseason football, but after a month in practice pads, the players are smiling and proud to wear their school name on their uniforms. It's also a chance for Matt and the other players to get ready for the regular season. Suncoast head coach Jimmy Clark knows this game can really help his young team grow. Stand in. Don't let yourself get blocked down! So you can see a lot to cover, and it's all next on Good Sports, right here on the Education Network. Connor and Jalissa, back to you. Thanks, Rick. And that's going to do it for this edition of School News Around the District, brought to you by the Education Network, keeping, keeping you informed. informed.